Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy, BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder. Today, while I am feeding my child, I thought it would be cool because the Zone 3 war between, well, the two opposing sides we've had, right? It's kind of been like the EMP, the OWO here in Server 2. Uh, you have DWD, PKO2, right, and a few others going up against TA, TS, um, and I guess you could argue ATM as well. Uh, Zone 3 finally opened, and uh, TA, along with OWO, were able to go ahead and secure their level 3 passes just a little while ago. We've had a few flags that are being built out. I believe TA and OWO have Alliance Fortresses that are being dropped as well. And you can just see here as we start that they are just going hard. Now, there is some stuff that I'm going to try and show off here as well, just to give you a little bit of an update on some of the intense drama that has been unfolding here. This is a Sherlock Holmes mystery. We're talking a Nicholas Sparks novel of just dramatic romance of the utmost passion for what has been transgressing. It's intense. Uh, with that in mind and being said, as always, if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you sub, like, ring the notification bell. And of course, if you want to join and be a part of our conversation, isn't that right, sweetie? Uh, then, of course, you guys can go and join the Discord link to them in the pinned comment description down below. Sorry, my hands are occupied. Uh, with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead. Now, you can see here, this is, we're in Zone 3 right now. And, uh, again, GRZ, I should also mention them as well. I'm a part of that kind of five alliance, as far as, like, the primary ones that were going at it. Now, you can see OWO and their allies, um, or I guess, because they don't really have a union name, so I'm kind of just going with the leading alliance and saying that just to make it a little bit easier for everyone <laughs> visually. They have been pushing here. They kind of met in the middle of the map, um, and they, they had a lot more uh, troops out. Um, it seems like potentially more people online too as well uh, from their side compared to TA. But again, they did end up pushing them back for the first kind of initial, you know, just appetizer skirmish. And so TA right now, right, pushing back and just kind of regrouping that you can see here. Now, this is the thing for me, right? And, and you've heard me talk about this a lot. Um, the thing I love so much about Call of Dragons, especially when it comes to the PvP aspect itself, is that there's so much uh, versatility and availability when it comes to how you can actually play out your tactics, right? You know, in, in this situation, it's not as though TA necessarily has to kind of do this full retreat. You know, they might actually be able to kind of get away with, for the most part, let me fix that, there we go. Oh, good burp, sweetie. Uh, they might actually be able to get away with just backing up a little bit and then, you know, kind of re-holding a choke point, right? Or they wait for certain skills to come back up, right? Like the shadow game skill, which is the purple one that you're seeing thrown out from the artifact usage. Um, something like that. Uh, other AoE skills that they can hit. And you try and take advantage of those, right? Where you kind of max out your distance and you basically do, oh God, what do they call it? It's it's like kite poking would be the term. If you, for those of you who've played like League of Legends, you would know that um, in that game, right? If you're, as in, for those of you that are familiar, right? If you're like an AD carry or you have ranged units in something like StarCraft, right? You're kind of attacking, moving, attacking, moving, attacking, moving, right? So you're kind of kiting away from your opponent. That's, in my opinion, something that you actually have the ability to do. Uh, which really is why it's so awesome and I think really creative when... Ooh, that's pretty cool. I saw some thunder <laughs> from this. Did you guys see that right here north of Paris? That's actually pretty cool. Let's see real quick what's happening. Oh, cool. So look at this. We, we go down TA. Actually, is kind of doing that right now where they're just backing up a little bit and kind of holding this position. It looks like kind of a regroup point. And I don't know if OWO is chasing because it seems like they kind of had to come down this way maybe they're backing up okay yeah so it looks like they're kind of holding still and steady here looks like see this is pretty smart right especially if they're in you know voice chat um, obviously it looks like they're grouping right now to kind of just do some bulk healing so this way they don't have to go all the way back they're just kind of doing replenishing here uh, from using uh, excuse me they're using uh, the tier of arbon uh, which is the artifact that allows for you to heal up to 10 legions 
Um, it's every two seconds for eight seconds that I think it has a healing factor, uh, base healing factor of 400. So, right, they're just kind of doing the group. And it looks like they have some staff of springs that are being hit, if you see kind of just the individual one. So there you go, right? There's a tier of Arbit artifact that's getting thrown down, right? You're going to see four of these that are going to get procced before it goes away. Again, because it lasts for eight seconds. So you saw that, right, kind of a group healing four sets. Um, so, again, something, you know, something cool. Then the individual ones is your staff of spring. That's your epic artifact that you're seeing thrown down. Again, a great way to replenish without having, like we said, to go all the way back so you can kind of sustain your fight. Throughout. So it looks like we're probably going to get a regrouping and going, but here's one of the drama pieces that I wanted to talk about. Ooh, look at that, another Thunderbolt that was going down. Look, see, man, more people getting hearing, uh, healing. Ah, oh, dude, just su such a great artifact that's really allowing. So some of you might be wondering, right, why are you noticing some players that are familiar faces, but, you know, maybe they're not in the alliance that you thought. So here's some of the drama, right, that's been unfolding. So... I'm gonna quickly just show you some leaderboards here. You will notice, if we go to the uh, Alliance leaderboard, why is it that EMP at the moment is no longer a top Alliance? Well, this is what we've been hearing. So I had a chance, I just wanna point this out, right? So I've had a chance to reach out uh, to Warren, uh, who was uh, the lead of EMP. Uh, I've heard from a few other players as well that are, um, excuse me, I've heard from a few other players as well, kind of around the situation. Uh, I, I want to point out that at least as of uh, recording the video, I, I have reached out to who was the current R5, right? So we found out who was the current R5 of EMP, and what we heard is that, um, and what we heard from them so far is that they are, uh, is that, uh, excuse me, that they're, essentially traded or swapped. They promoted someone else to lead who, from what they were saying, was a farmer alt account. And then that person who got promoted removed all of the EMP players from the Alliance and started deleting, I think they started deleting territory and, and anything else that they had mentioned. I don't know obviously how, how much that's happened, but um, you can see here that they're no longer on the boards. I don't even know where they are. I might have to go down pretty far to potentially find them. I might be able just to kind of type them in chat too as well. Uh, again, maybe they deleted it. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Let's see if we can... Oh, you know what? I don't, even, I don't even think I can find them. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do it this way. Let's go Alliance. And then we'll go... I think it's Settings. Here we go, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Cool. So let's see if we can find them because someone told me. Oh wow, yeah. So see, we can't even we can't even find them right now on the board. Are you still hungry, sweeties? I know. Let's get some booties. Um, so we can't even find them here on the boards. Maybe maybe they renamed. Um, potentially, I'm, I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to click on. Let me see if I can grab my mouse real quick. Cool. Um, oh, here we go. EMP. Leader, the Emperor. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so here it is, right? So, <laughs> uh, looks like they got some Morse code. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, looks like it feels like I'm playing Tetris or something. Uh, or not Tetris, but uh, what's that? What's that game with the fighter jet and their... Oh, God, I'm forgetting. What is it? Oh. God, it's, it's, it's a Galaga, right? Is it Galaga <laughs> uh, or something? But yeah, so this was the alliance you can see here, right? Still have a bunch of territory. All the members have been removed, right? Only person here is this guy, the Emperor, uh, which is kind of, I guess, uniquely named, right? So this is the person that ended up taking it. They removed everyone. So what ended up happening from what we've heard is that some members from EMP have uh, mostly, from what it seems like, gone to, uh, excuse me, gone to OWO, um, I think some some of them, and then they actually told me that some players went to TA as well, um, which is why you end up kind of seeing the ranking still pretty close, right? Because it's it's obviously that not everyone can fill into OWO. So you probably had some that went to GRZ and OWO just based on the power increase because GRZ, I, I don't believe that they were... Uh, I'm not sure if they were number three when I had last looked. Maybe they were, but it was kind of a close 3-4. But now you see they kind of got a boost. Um, I'm not sure where any of the other players have gone bes besides that. That's only what I've been told by a few people that were in EMP thus far. And it doesn't mean that they know everything that has happened. Uh, but I, I do take that with 
a line of credit because uh, they were there. So that's why you end up seeing this, right? And you can see, you know, 159 uh, right there, 139. They have 162, uh, 130, right? So a few more, a few more spots still close. Obviously, we're going to have to see because really, like I said, Zone Three is just open. So you know, some of the fighting with that in mind has started. I want to point out that I have reached out to the R5 of EMP at the time. Uh, that person's name is Lenin. That's L-E-E-N-O-N. And they were the ones that, from, from what I've been told, uh, gave that person the Emperor R5 and they were moved. So I have reached out to ask for a comment just to see, you know, their side of what happened. I think it's really important, you know, that you're able to kind of go to the source. Uh-oh, we coughing a little bit. Hands up. Low on the head. Oh, that's right. Baby number three. Technique. We have it down to avoid choking. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. Um, so yeah, so so again, I'm still waiting uh, right now to hear back. I'm hoping that uh, maybe later in the video, I have already reached out. So I'm, again, I'm, I'm just hoping maybe I'll get some clarification there and then we can let you guys know. Otherwise, we're going to show a little bit more here of the fight. Ooh, looks like they're going around and spreading out. Interesting take here on... Oh, wow, okay. Huh. Uh, I don't know if they're going to end up... I have to see here. I have to go see now where... Uh, where the uh, where TA is. I'm not sure how, because I, I thought for a minute. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so they're still hanging out here. Looks like they're going back a little bit now, or at least some of them might be. Oh, I'm really curious here. We're going to have to see if, if this is like a positional change. Uh, maybe I mean again they have they have a, a lot of people that are coming right now so um, again I wonder if maybe they're trying to switch up the battlefield that's happening oh you guys see the thunder okay so here we go interesting so they went around I wonder why they went around that way instead of just going this way who knows maybe maybe it was for like positioning reasons but here's the choke point that they're coming down so wow now putting some more pressure on uh, which is going to be interesting to see this next fight. Let's see here. Um, okay. So I was on my, on my cripple right now with just one hand. Man, I love how fast the calf moves in this game. It just... I don't know what it is, man. Like, something about the visuals here in this game that I just like. What's interesting here is it looks like I'm seeing... Yeah. Ooh, do we need another burpees? Ooh, don't do that. I want you to get your onesie wet. There we go. Cool. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. All right. Let's get you a little more burpsies. Awesome. Let's... Zoom. Get a little closer here to the mic, so we're good. Okay, looks like they're pushing down. See, this thing right here is really important, right? You don't want to just die and you know lose your marches for no reason, right? So these players that just kind of have their legions out here, these are kind of just free kills for OWL, right? You, you just you just really pick these off one by one. Um, this is why it's important, right, to be online and you know make sure that you're not out of position uh, because this is the thing right they have a really good choke point here you know one of the things you could do is you could line up a few people along the side and then just psh, psh, right just throw a bunch of shadow game um skills out which is which is the purple it's the purple rain <laughs> i might just call it that um you know gotta give a shout out to my boy prince old school right so something like that other AOE skills to throw down, right? That's kind of the, the, the cool thing is when, when you think about how the artifacts and the AOE and the ranged ones can be used, it kind of reminds you of, you know, and again, to, to go back to kind of a League of Legends term, right? When you're kind of doing that poke, you're doing skill pokes, right? Um, you know, something like if you're using, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think right now, like, you know, Caitlyn's, I think it's her Q, which is the arrow, someone like Ezreal, right, who has, you know, kind of raw range skills, so you're using those to poke. Just to give a couple examples, that's something that you can do in uh, COD, right? You can kind of, it's almost like you can start with kind of the range skill game while you're kind of micro, uh, microing back, right? So it's like skill, keep running, some of those another skill, keep running. Um, yeah. Okay, 
let's go ahead and move just so I can still kind of show you guys what's going on here. Yeah. Looks like they're still pushing down. So I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to get some information. So if you uh, saw me quiet there for a minute and typing, I was just trying to still get some more information. I might be able to actually update you guys while the video is going on. I'm just, I'm just waiting to, to hear back currently. So again, it looks like OWO pushing. I'm trying to see if there's anyone here that's in, that's in this. I really love, man. Oh, so there's some GRZ people. Looks like they're pushing back. I wonder what's happening here. Are they just kind of coming back? They have a lot of people online right now, man. This is awesome to see. Uh, and again, even the fights that we're seeing, no lag, which is really cool. I wonder where TA's position, because right now they're just kind of getting picked off one by one. You just don't really want that to happen. So I wonder if they're going to reset and kind of regroup at a center point. Because uh, you can just see all of them. Dude, it's like it's like that herd in Jurassic Park, The Lost World, for those of you guys who have seen that second one. Uh, right where it's like the herd's just running away and the uh, poachers are just chasing them down. Uh, sorry, I just do this just immediately what comes to mind. So, oh cool. So it looks like maybe this is going to be their kind of uh, return point. And and this is the thing to be to be cautious of, right? Is that TA has the pass, and you know it's interesting. I really I kind of like the strategy here from OWO. Uh, right, if they're able to kind of maintain and put constant, consistent open field pressure onto TA, right, which is going to limit how much they can build out of the gate, you know, that's something that's really important uh, to be able to do because then you're going to be able to kind of really strap them on how much they can expand, uh, how quickly they're going to be able to replenish troops as well. Uh, because if they don't, if they're not able to break into zone three, then they're kind of having to be able to fight from the pass, right? And so that's kind of what you have to consider. That's why it's really important, you know, when this position opens, as far as when the pass opens, right, how you want to maintain consistent pressure, at least as much as possible, especially when you're in the kind of war situation that server two is. So, yeah, no, this is going to be cool. So we'll, we'll see how this plays out. And then hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a little bit more information on the whole kind of EMP kerfuffle, <laughs> which is probably a nicer way to put it. So, yeah, now... I want to point out, man, some rumors that I've heard, right, for those that might be curious, is, and I, I gotta, I'm going to have to see here where, where EMP is, too, as well, where they're at. TA, here we go. Oh, cool, they're right there at the corner. So, uh, right, some rumors that I've heard. Someone told me that, and again, right, please take these with a grain of salt. They have not been confirmed, but I've just been told this by a few people. So, uh, right, one, I think one person told me that, like, Junie paid off someone to to go ahead and, and trade i've heard that someone else paid them off i heard that uh, i heard that one of the people with NAMP, you know was just uh was just a trader um uh well i should say they said that right let me be very clear right there was one person that was like yeah we don't know we think the we think the officer might have betrayed but there was obviously nothing confirmed um so okay I have some juicy stuff right now. So again, I've, I've been DMing Lenin uh, and uh, on on Discord right now. And uh, again, he, I'm assuming a he, if not, please let me know, uh, is actually reaching back out to me. So he's responding. I asked him a couple questions. And I just said, if you know, if you want to reply, you can. I just wanted to go to the source, right? So I'm not getting this whole he said, she said thing. So Lenin it was the one... Uh, Okay, so this is what I'm being told. Here we go. Exclusive from your boy, BN, right, trying to give you this quality reporting. So, Lenin has told me, uh, he said, uh, and again, I'll, I'll just kind of verbatim quote this, because uh, it's not a lot, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, he said, to be honest, that's my second account, who is the R5 and EMP right now. He said he did betray EMP, because he wanted to have a fair fight 
in server two. This is interesting, right? And he also said that TA, he said for the record, uh, TA did not buy him or pay him anything. Um, he said it was his own decision or of his own volition. Cool. This is awesome. So I'm going to ask and find out. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, man, th so I, I guess, you know, my, my initial... Oh, I'm sorry. Are you still hungry, sweetie? Okay, don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I am feeding and paying attention. This is multitasking at its core. Uh, so this is what I'll say on my initial. Right. I, I, I did feel, and, and I'm curious why he... And let me, let me ask real quick. Um, let me see here. <laughs> let me reach for the mouse, if you guys don't mind. Sorry, did I scare you? I'm sorry, sweetie. Are you okay? Okay. Uh oh. Little spitters. A little spitters. Oh, jo, 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 jo. Big kisses. Big kisses. That's so special. Special. Okay. Let me what a burp. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me let me get a question here. Okay, cool. So I, I just asked something else. I'm just I'm trying to get a little more context here if I can. And so when uh, when he responds, if so, I'll definitely uh, provide some more. So it uh, looks like TA has a, l a little small squad here pushing out just to kind of get some. And again, this is the thing, right? Getting those kind of free small group hits, those small legion attacks, doing those one by one, those are great, right? Those are the types of little just kind of hit and run Blitzkrieg tactics or guerrilla tactics, if you will. What's up with the dope lightning that I keep seeing randomly just showing up man that is pretty pretty cool um so let's see what's going on right now with the well right so now look so now uh from the push out right even though t only has a few people this is what i'm talking about man just push out hit them one by one uh right get you know kill them down fast don't you know take unnecessary damage when you don't need to Ooh, dude look at tinlock doing the rss tile hopping with the cav unit bringing in the rock tactics i love it this is pretty dope dude this is cool and now He's going in, putting some damage. Oh, this is interesting right now. So it looks like he's going... I think this is the advantage, though. It looks like Cav on infantry, so that's probably going to be a W there for him. You got King, right? He's just chilling right there. This is the thing, though. is like when units are there by themselves, you don't just want to go in and be the first one. You want to get the surround bonuses, uh, right? You want to make the kill as easy as humanly possible, right? So that way you take the least amount of overall damage, right? That's the kicker. So it looks like OWO backing up. Do they? Oh, well, look, he's doing some bulk group healing here. Uh, so let's let's go see. <coughs> Wish I had some water with me, <coughs> but I doubt. You, you okay? You okay? So it looks like TA was able to push them off a bit. And this is the thing, man. You know, it, it's I love watching these fights because part of me really wants to see them, you know, be that much more organized, right? Like, isn't it? In an example, I would love to go into uh, a Discord server, right, for a fight that I'm watching, and just listen to what's happening, right? Now, I don't know if OWO has that. I, I am, I will say this, I I think I'm in their Discord right now, but, but obviously I can't see anything <laughs> at the moment. So there's a good chance that they could uh, be in kind of a private voice that they have. Uh, again, I'd be curious to see if they are. I would assume so. It, it would almost be... You know, kind of amateurish, if you will, not on, on them, but just in general, to you know make sure that you are doing those things to help coordinate. Okay, yeah. So it looks like uh, so Lenin got back to me. Uh, I ended up asking, you know, just kind of if he felt just the the kind of war in and of itself was, you know, a bit unfair with the three v one, and he wanted a little bit more. You know, uh, you know, was it how it started, right from? The, the whole, like, level one pass scenario that we talked about before. Was it something else? Um, right? So he said, he essentially said yes because it's a 3v1 versus TA versus EMP. 
uh, Awo and PKO2. Uh, he said, I think it'd be more inter- more exciting if TA can have a fair fight. So I, I will say this, right? One, I am never a fan, right? And I'll, I'll just I'll say this straight up, is that never a fan of anyone betraying anyone, right? So I think first and foremost, let, let me get that out of the way. Um, again, I don't know, Lenin, uh, as an individual, I can kind of only speak for general actions, right? I, I'm not a fan of that in and of itself. On the other side of it, right, I am a fan of fair fights. I do love, and, and I'll tell you this for, for me, right, is for those of you that knew me in rock, right, if you're ever a part of my jump projects, right, when we when we were kind of prepping for KDK1s, the idea was, and even I did this in Infinity Kingdom as well, the idea was how can we go about setting up fair fights, right? Where it's really more of a, a, a test of skill and strategy and tactics and wit instead of it just being, well, you know, this group, this union has more numbers and more overall power than you do, right? So they just have kind of a bigger advantage or an overwhelming advantage. I've just never been a fan of that. Right. So if I'm ever going into something and, you know, it's a KVK related thing or something to that effect. Right. I'm always going to look to try and have the fairest fight that we can by balancing and evening out kind of kingdom kingdom union distribution, because I just think that's a lot more fun for everyone involved and you get a lot more out of it. Um, So, you know, for me, that's just my view. Um, Not to say that I think that takes away at all from you know the the betrayal if you will right if you felt that you know i i I would argue that if you felt that strongly about it you know another approach could just be to to leave (laughs) right and then just go join the others or you know maybe you post something in a lion's chat or you know you post a mail um you know something that you know would at least be kind of less betrayal (laughs) i guess it's i guess would be the way to to word it so you know what i will say is that in spirit i'm with lenin uh, in actuality, right? I, I, I again, I have to say, I, I, I like, I'm just not a general fan of you know anyone who who betrays and, and things like that. I understand people have their reasons, of course, but you know it's not something that I would condone. Uh, let me just get that out of the way. Uh, however, I am happy that we were at least able to get some context, and I also want to obviously uh, say that I appreciate. Uh, Leaning in for responding. Of course, the player did not have to. They didn't have to say anything. So I always have respect for anyone, uh, especially if they are, you know, being earnest and candid in, you know, what happened or what transpired in a situation. So I can always appreciate and respect that. Um, not that, you know, necessarily not to say it takes away, but, you know, again, I, I, I personally can say I appreciate it. All right, so let's see what's going on. So TA holding here. Doesn't look like there's any more fighting happening now. So yeah, it looks like a Wu is just kind of hanging out here currently. We might actually find this as a good time to stop. I'm at 28 minutes right now. Again, I'm, I'm going to try and get you guys some more fights. I know this was, a, this was kind of like just some mini skirmishes, nothing really big, and just kind of giving you the lay of the land. Um, I think I should, might actually be able to zoom out here just to show you a little bit more of kind of how Zone 3 and, and what the passes look like. I know I didn't have a chance to do that early on. So you can see here that EMP Fort, right, uh, Owu took the pass. They have a four drop. TA took the pass. They dropped. Um, again, TS using the TA four, uh, the TA level three pass. They're probably going in here down to start placing. Uh, EVG has one, but I just don't know. Oh wow, looks like they. Oh wow, looks like they must have just taken theirs. So GRZ must have just taken their pass. Uh, doesn't look like they've put anything in. They'll probably take that northern one. Let's go and, and look here. Let's see what's happening. So GRZ has theirs. They they literally must have just taken it, man. I wish I could have. I wish we could have saw that rally. Um, oh, I do have a report though. I think someone did send me a report. Let me show you guys real quick. Someone sent me a report for one of the rallies, or sorry, for one of the level three passes. Uh, let me see here. TS10 level three pass. Here we go. Yeah. So C sent me a, a shout out to C. He sent me the level three. Uh, report here so we can see right so you can see I can see what it's made up of uh, right so we have Legion units yeah so Juni hit a mill he ran Hosk Nika uh, again barely took any damage level 50 Darkling infantry captain uh, that it ran 
let me see if we can look at what some of the buffs were, right? So this is this was Juni's Rally uh, with Hosk Nika. Um, again, you can see 5-5 five, five has Awakening on both. Um, you can see here for some of the level 3 pass information. And again, we'll just go through it all. So you can see, it looks like they had some infantry. I'll have to see if they had cav. It looks like this is all pretty standard. It looks like 100 down to 150. Yeah, so the stats are actually the same. Um, looks like some transport units. Magic. I wonder, I really want to see, oh man, I want to be able to see how many they, oh, maybe I can look at battle log, that should tell me. No! Oh good, hopefully this corrects itself. I had a little timeout, nice. Okay, good. At least, at least it didn't, it didn't drop. So let's go back here to the past. I just want to see if we can see how much was in it. Oh wow, it's not letting me see the battle log. Interesting, I wonder if that's just because of the situation. Oh wow. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, just because I really want to show this off. So give me a sec. I'm just going to reload. I want to see if we'll be able to see uh, the battle log here. And I can show you guys that for what's included in the level 3 pass uh, for units. Because, again, I mean, you saw there was uh, a mill rally there from Juni. Uh, rocking two legendaries for primary second. Uh, one with Hosk being the rally, that's the gated commander. I believe you, you have to pay VIP for that in order to get the unlock. And then he ran Nika, which uh, Nika you can get from chests. And Nika also is peacekeeping. So I wonder if he ran Nika for the peacekeeping and then just some of the additional skills on the secondary um, to be able to deal with the pass since it's basically doing a PvE attack. So let's see here if we're able to take a look. Wow, my daughter just totally fell asleep right here in my arms. You guys probably can't see that, but she is knocked out. That's my girl. So let me show this, and then we'll go ahead and stop. I just really want to see if I can show you guys this report. So let's see here. Oops. Okay. Let's open this up, and I'm going to have to go put her down for this napper. Let's see, battle log. Oh, man, why? That's so weird. Third time I got connection timeout, so at least I know it's not me. Well, if anyone does have a level 3 pass, and you could send it to me, I probably should have asked in chat. But, uh, yeah, guys, look, that sums it up. So much crazy stuff that's happening right now in Server 2. I'm going to try and bring you guys some of the big fights today that happen whenever this video comes out. I'll try and have this be the first one that does. And then most likely in a day or two, I'll, I'll start releasing some of the, the awesome PvP stuff. So that's it for me. Again, what I will say is that if you have you know, any additional context, if you, you know, want to throw in your input, give feedback, what do you think about the whole situation, right? Where do you land on the whole kind of EMP scenario for how that played out? How do you feel about fair fights versus kind of overwhelming fights? And then, you know, the kind of bragging or the... Uh, the trash talk, the toxicity sometimes that comes with that, right, from, you know, claiming that it is a fair fight, right, obviously when numbers are overwhelmed, right, do you care about that or not? Again, I'd love to hear any and all of your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. That is it for me, as always. Until next time, we will catch you guys later.